My name's Cameron Smith. Today I'm going to talk to, talk to you about how to make vegetarian burgers. Here is the food process that I'm going to make the burgers in and now here's the ingredients. A tin of sweet corn and a tin of chickpeas. Half a handful of fresh coriander. A zest from one lemon. Three heaped tablespoons of plain flour. Half a te teaspoon of ground cumin. Half a teaspoon of ground coriander. Half a teaspoon of paprika. Let's get these burgers made. So first I'm going to put the drained chickpeas and sweet corn into the food processor. Then I'm going to add the coriander leaves. Then I'm going to add the spices. Then I'm going to add the flour and the grated lemon zest. Then I'm going to add a pinch of cold sea salt. I'm now going to put the lid on. Then I'm going to pulse it until it's not too smooth. So with the wooden spoon, I'm going to just double check, see if it's pulsed together. And if it, if it isn't pulsed together, then it pulse it a little bit more. So now that it's ready, get an adult to take the blade out and to scoop the remaining mixture off the blade. And now I'm going to put this mixture into a bowl. So now that the mixture is ready, I'm going to flour my worktop slightly. Now this mixture should make four equal patties. So I'm just going to blend it together on with the flour. So the easiest way to divide the mixture into four is divide it down the middle and then divide it into that one, into that one, and then scoop them all, scoop them round, try and make them as flat as possible, and then put them on a the plate. So that's my first one. As you can as you can see, I've got four burgers here, and as you can see the bigger ones, the biggest one for me. So now I'm going to put them in the fridge for half an hour. Now get your parents to help you with this as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the oil heat up in the pan. Then I'm going to put the burger in. Let's put the burger in the pan. So with the help of your parents, put the burger on a medium heat for 10 minutes and turn the halfway until it's golden brown and ready to eat. And it looks delicious. So now that the vegetarian burger looks nice and golden, what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the burger. And that's you got your perfect vegetarian burger.